of million stories in the book. This is one of them. My name is August, Joe August. I'm a cop. I work out of the Fatal Precinct Nursery Round Division. It was Tuesday when I got the call. Seems that Mother Goose was missing. That meant trouble. Fairytale world can't survive without Mother Goose. Someone had to find her. That's what I do. I'm a cop. Somebody somewhere knew something. I started by making calls to the usual suspects. Hello? Are you Jack? I don't know. Who are you? I'm Joe August. I'm cop. It's what I do. Who am I? You don't know? No, that's weird. I don't know who I am. You're Jack. Jack? Cool. You really don't know who you are. What's the last thing you remember? Went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Well, where's the pail? Were you alone? No, nope. thanks. So. Uh, who was with you? Jack! Oh, Jack, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I, I did not mean it. I think so. Who are you? Who am I? You don't remember either? Jack, honey, it's me, Jill. How you doing, Jill? My name is Jack. I know who you are. Good. One of us should. Jack, I'm your sister. I have a sister? Yes. Awesome. You don't remember what happened? Looks Not like really. Jack fell down and broke his head. You mean crown? What? Crown means head. It sounds better if you rhyme. Whatever. So Jack fell down and broke his crown? I guess so. Who are you? Joe August. I'm a cop. A cop? Fairtale Precinct Nursery Ram Division. What are you sorry for? What? When you first came on, you said, I'm sorry, Jack. What are you sorry for? I did not say that. Yes, you did. That you can remember? You said you didn't mean it. Didn't mean what? Uh, I, uh, I, I just didn't want Jack to get hurt, that's all. Where were you when your brother was tumbling down the hill head first? Crown first? I was with him. No, ma'am, you weren't. You weren't? Not today. Sure I was. Don't lie to me, ma'am. Just the facts. Okay, so I wasn't with him today. Big deal. I go up the hill with him every single day. Every single day we go all the way up the hill to get a pail of water. I mean, who puts a well on top of a hill? You put a well in a valley or near a house, not on top of a hill. Who would do that? Mother Goose, she created this world. And I hate it. It's stupid. You hate Mother Goose? Hey, I didn't ask to be written, okay? But she's head honcho. You mean crown honcho. Head honcho. In this case, the alliteration sounds better. Whatever. We all have to play by her stupid rules. It would be nice if you didn't have to do what she said, huh? Yeah, that would be great just for one day. I see. Why do you care? I'm looking into the disappearance of Mother Goose. Mother Goose is gone? Yes, and so were you. Hey, you don't think I had anything to do with this? Where were you just now? I can't tell you that. If you don't have an alibi, ma'am, you'll be a person of interest in our investigation. I didn't do anything! We can do this the hard way. You don't want the hard way. I, I, I can't, I don't want. You're in trouble, ma'am. Where were you? All right, so I leave Jack for a little while and then he falls down. Typical! Where were you? I was, um, off seeing my boyfriend. Ugh. I see. This boyfriend have a name? Why? I'll need to talk with him. 
no, 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 no. You can't. I'll get in trouble. You are in trouble. What's your boyfriend's name? Um, uh, Georgie Porgy. Thank you, ma'am. I'll just have to check your alibi. Who's alibi? Is that our dog's name? We have a dog. Am I a dog? Ugh! I uh, told them to say by their devices. I need to talk to them again, and soon. Meanwhile, I called Georgia Porgy. Aw, Georgie Porgy, you are the greatest. Nah, baby, you is the greatest. Aw, Georgie. Georgie Porgy, I thought I was the greatest. Nah, dollface, you is the most interesting. Aw, Georgie. We love you, Georgie. We love you, Georgie. Uh, Mr. Pudding Pie? Please, Mr. Pudding and Pie is my father. Call me Georgie. Okay. Georgie, my name is Joe August. I'm a cop. It's what I do. I need to ask you a few questions. Can it wait? I'm in the middle of a Zoom meeting with my peeps. Hi, I'm Bo. I need to ask you about your girlfriend. What about me? What about me? Not either of you, his other girlfriend. Georgie Porgy, you got yourself another girl. No, Peep, I didn't. You said I was the only one for you. And that's what you said to me. Listen, baby, dollface, I... I can't believe I left my sheep for you. You left them? I thought they ran away. I abandoned them. I'm a horrible person. Georgie Porgy never want to see you again. Listen, sweetie, muffin top right. I thought you cared about me. I never want to see you again either. <laughs> so, Georgie Porgy, put in pie. Kissed the girls and made them cry. I need to ask you about Mother Goose. What about her? She's missing. I don't know nothing about that. Jill said she was with you when it happened. Could be. I don't know when it happened, but fine. I was with Jill in the morning. And then? And then I was on the road to St. Ives. Anybody vouch for that? I met a guy. You get a name so I can verify your alibi? No, but dude had seven wives. Seven. And his wife had seven sacks. And each sack had seven cats. And each cat had seven kittens. It was crazy. Did you ask for a name? No, I just ran away. Why? I got it, okay? It's what I do. Run away? What? You think I like it? I don't. I hate it. Then why do it? I got a donut on account of Mother Goose. It's her world every time. I got to run away every time Du Bois come out to play. You know, I never once played a game of stickball in my whole life. And you'd like to? Yeah. I've, I would love to play a game of ball or marbles or maybe try that PlayStation I keep hearing about. But no, because it's stupid old Mother Goose. If Mother Goose were gone, you think you could do what you want? Yeah. I see. Subject in St. Ives all day. Not really. Then where were you the rest of the day? I don't gotta tell you nothing. You just admitted you wanted Mother Goose gone. You are my number one suspect. Okay, jeez. I was hiding. Why? Because all the boys come out to play. Where? At a farm up the road, old McDonald's in a haystack. Anyone who can verify the alibi? The kid with the horn? Little boy blue? That his name? He can vouch for you. Nah, he is asleep. He can sleep through anything. I mean, his sheep's in the meadow, his cows in the co corn, and he sleep, snores like a woodsman. It's creepy. But uh, the farmer's wife caught me hiding in his haystack and run me off with an axe. The farmer's wife? From the farm up the road? Yeah, look, I gotta go. The girl's is really upset with me. 
Georgie had motive, but I wasn't sure if he had opportunity. I needed to check his alibi, and I knew a guy who went to St. Ives all the time. Hello? Uh, sir, I'm Detective August Fanto, Precinct Nursery Realm Division. Yeah, so? I'm looking into the disappearance of Mother Goose. I don't know anything about that, and I am so very late. We have to get to St. Ives. Just a few questions, sir. Let's talk to one of my wives. Hello? Hi, are you his wife? One of them, anyway. He has more than one wife? There are seven of us. And we're also very late getting to St. Ives. We've got to go. Oh, Fluffy, stop it! Ah! Are you all right, ma'am? The cats are getting restless. You have cats in that talk? Seven. And each cat has seven kittens, and I have seven sacks. And we're so late for St. Ives. I won't keep you. Just have a question. Did you see Georgie Poggi today? Little boy with other girls? Yeah. He ran into us when we started this morning. Meow. Calm down, meatball! Meow. Is this about Mother Goose? What about her? I heard she was missing. How'd you hear that? News travels fast. You think she was goose-napped? I'm not sure. I'm not even convinced she's truly missing. I'm just following the facts. I hope you find her. I'm so late. We have to go. Stop, Leek! Stop that! Arg! So, Georgie Poggi had an alibi for the first part of the day. I need to see if he spent the afternoon at the McDonald farm, like he said. Hello? This the McDonald farm? Yep, reckon it is. And are you the owner? Uh, yep. Your name, sir? McDonald. M A C. Am I? Yep. First name? Old. Old? Uh, yep. Your first name is Old. I was named after my grandfather. Can you spell it? O L D. This here's the wife. Ma'am? Hello, I'm Frida. Frida. F R E I? E I. Oh. Did either of you see a uh, young man on your property? Boy, we were there, sleeping the hay. That boy never does his work. Uh, anybody else? Not that I recollect. Ma'am? No. You didn't chase a different boy out of your haystack with an axe? I would never do such a thing. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you do have a history of violence. That's not true! <sighs> Two years ago, you were arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I was never convicted. You willfully attacked three mice. They ran after me! You cut off their tails with a carving knife. It was self-defense. They were blind, ma'am. Well, I didn't know that with all the creatures scurrying everywhere. I've just had enough. Enough of what, ma'am? Of this life with all the smell and the noise all night long. It's a moo moo there and a cluck cluck there and I'm going there everywhere and I'm going. I just can't take it anymore. I thought you said you liked pigs. I said I liked bacon. Mother Goose put us in a world where we have no choices. So you'd no, like it if she were gone. I wish for it every night. Starlight, star bright. Looks like you got your wish. Mother Goose is gone? I had nothing to do with that. Where were you earlier, ma'am? I was chasing that porgy boy out of the haystack, just like you said. Reckon little boy Blue saw me. So, the truth comes out, and before that... We were down the lane, delivering pumpkin. Reckon it took a few hours. Can anyone verify that? You can talk to the man we don't sold it to. You have his name? Peter. 
Peter? He's a pumpkin eater. Thank you for your time. I may need to talk with you again. Seemed like Mother Goose had quite the enemies list. I wasn't sure why. She'd always been good to me, but right then, I was tracking down a pumpkin. Yeah, what do you want? Are you Mr. Pumpkin Eater? Hi. Yes, that's right. It's him. I'm his wife. Hi, hello. What have I told you about talking to strangers? But I never get to meet people. And this is why. But Peter. I don't want you talking to nobody. But Peter, I think. You don't think, I think. Go get back in your pumpkin. But Peter, why can't I stay in the house? Cause I can't keep you there. But, but I don't wanna go in the pumpkin. Don't argue with me. But Peter, I think. What did I just say? I do the thinking for the both of us. Hey, take my advice, pal. People need to think for themselves. Hey, why don't you mind your own business, girly? This is my business. I'm a cop. It's what I do. And I don't like how you're treating your wife. Anyways, where'd you get this pumpkin shell? Got it from a farmer up the road. Just now? A few hours ago. Took me a while to scoop all the junk out of it. He wants me to live in it. Why? Because I can't keep her anywhere else. Leave it to Mother Goose to stick me some wacky dame. I'm trying to be a good wife. I'm clean, I cook. You are a lousy cook. Why couldn't Mother Goose take me with some other dame? Like who? I don't know. I think Bo Peep's kind of cute. So, you've been here for several hours cleaning out the pumpkin shell. Is that true, ma'am? What are you asking her for? She don't know nothing. Ma'am? Besides, she disappeared for a few hours. Is that true, ma'am? Um... Where were you? Told you I couldn't keep her. Who are you with, ma'am? Nobody. I won't tell you. Really? Well, let's log on and see you last called. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. Humpty Dumpty, you've been seeing my wife? You told him? I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Are you Humpty Dumpty? Yes. What are you doing on that wall? I don't know. I got, it's what I gotta do. We all have to do things we don't want to. And you don't want to sit on a wall. Hey, I have dreams, ambitions, but instead I'm stuck here. I see. Uh, what's that? No, oh, it's been going on all day. Big ruckus at the shoe. The shoe? The shoe. <sighs> I see. Have you seen Mrs. Pumpkinita? Why? Just answer the question, sir. Was she there earlier today? Yes. I knew it. Peter, Peter. Don't Peter, Peter, me, me. I'm gonna scramble you up good. Is that what happened to you? Hey, I didn't touch him. No, I fell. See, he fell. I had a great fall. Oh, Humpty, did you see a doctor? I saw all the king's horses and all the king's men. They were no help. You really need a doctor. They're not covered by my insurance. We really need a single payer system. So what were you doing with my wife? Peter, he was teaching me how to cook. To cook? To cook. You cook? I told you, I have dreams, ambitions. I want to be a great chef. You were learning to cook? 
Yes, I know I'm not very good. I want to get better. I want to make you happy. You do? <sighs> of course I do. I love you. You do? Yes. Aw. So, Humpty, you can verify our alibi? Yes. All right, I'll need to talk with you all again. Stay close to your phones. This isn't over. Seemed everybody had motive, but nobody had the opportunity. But I wasn't going to let that go. And that's when I got the text. A ransom note. Here, I'll share my screen. This is the note I've received. A ransom note for Mother Goose. They wanted ten bags of gold. I knew where I had to look. Who needed money the most? The same person, Humpty said, had a big ruckus. Tommy, stop jumping on the bed. Elizabeth, stop kicking the wall. Daniel, get those out of your mouth. You do not know where they have been. Excuse me, ma'am? What? Uh, sorry, ma'am. Need to ask you a few questions. I am perfectly fine with my internet. I don't need insurance. Not those questions. You're not from the census bureau, are you? No, ma'am. Thank God. Is uh, this your home? Yeah. Looks like a shoe. Yes, it's a shoe. I'm a single mother on a budget. You think I live in one of those boots or posh strapless sandals? Stop that! It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Do you live here alone? I wish. Uh, who lives here with you? My children. How many children? I have so many, I don't know what to do. All those children yours? Yes. Ma'am, I got a report here today. There's been a lot of screaming. Uh, yeah, we call those weekdays. Can you tell me what the screaming was about? I don't know. I tend to block it all out. If you keep making that face, it'll stick, and we'll have to send you to the circus. Do you know what the yelling was about? I am doing the best that I can. You think it's easy being a single mother living on a fixed income? You think I asked for this? Talk to that goose! Mother goose? Yeah, I'm stuck here. I just wish we had a bigger place, maybe a size 13 or something with enough room in the heel. Kill Mother Goose for this. Did you? What? No, of course not. When's the last time you saw Mother Goose? A, a few days ago. She came to get a bunch of our cats. You have cats? I have kids. They collect puppies, cats, guinea pigs, hamsters. Oh, and an iguana. She came and got a bunch of our cats. Thank you, ma'am. Stay by your phone. So, all the pieces fell into place. Have you figured it out yet? It was time to gather all of the suspects and tell the truth about what happened to Mother Goose. Thank you all for coming. As you know, Mother Goose was goosenapped. Nearly everyone here had a motive to see the old girl gone, but everyone seemed to have an alibi. Maybe nobody did it. Maybe, or maybe nothing happened to Mother Goose. But you got a ransom note. I did. Didn't you? Yes, but it was a private text message. How did you know? You must have mentioned it. I didn't, and the text didn't come until after I told you that I wasn't sure Mother Goose was missing. You were trying to throw me off the scent. Oh, no, I wasn't. Sir, why are you the wives? I told them to wait for me. And they did? Awesome. Why should you do as they're told? Peter. I'm just kidding. And uh, what's this wife's name, sir? Um, Brenda? You don't look like Patty either. Cheryl, Bonnie, I don't know. Why don't I know your name? Because, sir, 
This is not your wife. This is Mother Goose. <gasps> Wait a sec. Hold it. Does anybody know what's going on? Wait, she's Mother Goose? Yes, dear, I'm afraid so. Hi, I'm Jack. Everybody knows who you are. Except me. I broke my crown. I broke everything else. But why would you do this? I just wanted to get away. But why? You're not the only ones who are stuck here doing the same thing year after year, generation after generation. And I have never been anywhere, ever. The owl and the pussycat went to sea. Some go to market, some go to baby mom. Even the cow jumped over the moon. But me, I'm stuck here just like you, a prisoner of my own making. I just wanted to see the world, or at least St. Ives. You had never been to St. Ives? Not before this. It was nice. Nah. But don't you fly on a gander whenever you want to wander? Yes, I fly on my gander, but I never get far. After all this time, I just like to see the big, wonderful world. There's so much more than just our little slice of the planet. I would have done anything to see it. You don't get to see your own world? No, I'm always here for generations. It's always the same old story. Over and over and over. And now I see you hate the world I created for you. Wait, we hate the world? Yes, don't you remember? Not much. I just wanted to get away. Are you going with me? Yes. Aw, isn't that sweet, honey? Yeah, okay. Fine, sweet. So I guess this solves the mystery of what happened to Mother Goose. I mean, yeah, yeah of course, I'm the one. Wait, 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 wait. So, you're not the seventh wife? So, you're not the seventh wife? No, dear, I was just pretending. And you have six wives waiting outside. We took seven sacks, and each sack has seven cats. Yes, I got an A in calculus. But if there are seven wives waiting outside, and you're not the seventh, then what happened to the last wife? I don't know. So your seventh wife is missing? I guess. What happened to his wife? I, I don't know. What did you do to her? I didn't do anything. You said you'd do anything to get away from here. Yeah, you did say that. That, you remember? Did you hurt her? Did she have a great fall? Did it involve a pail of water? I didn't do anything. What did you do with my wife? Did you, like, did you oh, hide her? Where is this? What did you do to her? Stop! 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 Leave her alone! She didn't do anything to your wife. I'm your wife. <gasps> Wait, you're his wife? Yes! Couldn't keep her, huh? Honey? Oh, don't honey me. Why would you do this? What's my name, huh? What is my name? Brenda? No. Carol, Bonnie? No, 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 it's Josephine. See, this is what it's like. You don't even know my name. I always just thought of you as seven. Seven? That's not even a real name. Yeah, but it's easy to remember. That's no excuse. He's right, dear. I think I made a mistake with all the Jacks and all the Marys. Oi! Hey, I'm Jack. I thought it would be easier to keep track, but I think now maybe I was wrong. I think everyone deserves better. Maybe you all shouldn't have to do what's written. Exactly. 
I got tired of going to St. Ives and back and forth and back. I mean, how many times can you hit the same gift shops and the same restaurants? I wanted more. We could go to Bermuda. I heard it's nice. It's not just about going someplace. It's about who I want to be. And who do you want to be? Me. Joe August, I like being a cop, I like solving mysteries, and I think I'm pretty good at it. That's what I want to be. I want to be a chef. I want to stop off the farm. I want to stop breaking my crown. Maybe you all could. Maybe it's time you all start telling your own stories. Because yeah. that's exactly what Mother Goose and I did. See, when Mother Goose wanted to see the world, or at least St. Ives, and I was tired of always going there, we agreed she could take my place, and it would free me to pursue criminal justice. That was a brilliant plan. That way, you could both get what you wanted. Exactly. Wait. So if you knew she was Mother Goose all along, then why did you start to investigate her disappearance in the first place? I don't know. It's, it's what I do. I'm a cop. But it doesn't make any sense. You're right. It doesn't. I just did what I had to do. Like we all have to. Because we're part of Mother Goose's stories. Yes, but I was following a new story. Story? <gasps> yes, it felt like before doing what I had to do, but this time I was doing what the new story told me to do. Do you know what that means? That means somebody is editing my stories. Your stories. Oh, you mean there's someone else out there? Yes. Somebody else is changing our stories. Making us do what they want us to do. <laughs> but who would do such a thing? It's a mystery, but don't worry, I'm all over it. I'll solve it. After all, it's what I do. My name is August. Joe August. And I'm a cop.